Here we are on another edition of Nick's Verse, and this time around, we have the 76ers. So the 76ers are interesting because they're a good team. But I don't know what's going on with Ben Simmons, so I am going under the guise of when I mention Ben, I'm going to say if. I'm going to consider him. We do play them, I think, four times this season. We'll, as we look, we'll take a look. We play them four times. I don't know what Ben's going to be. So we'll kind of just go from there. A uh, little bit of backstory. We've played them 494 times. Both regular season playoffs and others. I think there was a round-robin game or something. Um, we, we personally kind of break the streak of games against teams where we can get ahead in the head-to-head -head matchup we 259 wins 201 wins so it's going to take us a lot more seasons before we can get up there but it's possible with four games you know 4 8 12 16 20 that's five seasons 20 games 10 seasons and 40 games Fifteen seasons. It's going to take us about fifteen seasons, assuming that you win all of those, roughly fifteen seasons. So they have a winning record against us, and it's going to stay that way for quite a while. Hopefully, I get to see the day where uh, we do get ahead in uh, all-time head-to-head record, four hundred sixty games total. They were the Syracuse Nationals at one point. And then the 76ers. I think I remember that, but I don't re when I saw it, I was surprised. And uh, they're an Eastern Conference team. But the last time that we saw them in the playoffs was 1989. So let's see what happens come playoff time. If, say, for example, we're, they're a three seed and we're a six seed, right? We could see them in the first round. Uh, so, nonetheless, as we move on, uh, last season we played them three times because it was a shortened season, and we've lost uh, three times. We are on a 15-game losing streak against the Philadelphia 76ers. Last time we beat them was April 12th, 2017. Let's quickly take a look and see the last time we won who played. Mello, Justin Holiday scored 20, Marshall Plumley, Chasson Randall. Wow, what was this team that we put out that won by one point against who? I think I saw Nick Stauskas. Uh, Justin Anderson. Oh, this was also a poor squad. TJ McConnell. TJ McConnell sighting. Anywho. A 15, 15 game losing streak against the 76ers. We gotta change that. I think we can do it. I think we'll go maybe 1-3 and three against them. Just let's see what happens before we even dive into... Now let's take a look. First game, December 26th, 2020. We lost this one. Uh, take a look. Okay, third quarter woes again for the Knicks. Keep that in mind. Uh, they, didn't, uh, they didn't perform well in most games during the third quarter. But strong first, strong second, but came out flat and tried to recover. But it was kind of hard at that point. Especially when you have 33 points in the second quarter. But... If you think about it, 33, 26, 23. So, not factoring in garbage time or anything. Something to hang your hat on, but that's a moral victory. Keep that in mind. Embiid, 30 minutes, 10 for 20. Even shot a couple threes, 27 points. Shake Milton had 10. Tobias Harris. 
Sorry, yawned. So fairly, they had pretty good outpouring scoring wise, which is funny for Ben Simmons and all the flack that he's he gets for not being able to score in certain situations. But seventeen to seventeen from Curry and Tobias. Sorry, drinking some water. And the thing is, they played even. Look at all these minutes, how evenly spaced out everything is. And then if you look at us. Not too much the same because these guys get top heavy here. And then Alec Burks played. He had 22 points. Randall had 25 on shooting. Wide. 11 for 15, not bad. Mitch helped out with 11. This was an early game before he got hurt. RJ had 10. I'm hoping RJ does a little bit better. 2 for 15 we cannot have. 0 for 6 we cannot have either on 37 minutes. Um, How many personal fouls? William foul, which was good. Reggie fouled. What do we shoot? 38%, 27% from 3, 73%. 46, 35. They didn't shoot well either. But they shot better than us, and they won. 19 fouls, 23 fouls. We fouled a lot, too. 19 assists, 20 assists. With Ben Simmons. Interesting. Let's look at the second game. We lost 96 to 99. This was March 16th. I remember watching this game, too. So we bounced back in the third, but we uh, lay an egg in the fourth. So their defense really stopped us. After scoring 35 in the second, man, that must have been really ruck, um, uh, a crazy crowd in Philly. Randall scored 19 and Alec Burks scored 19. Alec Burks again scoring 19 points. So that could be a nice little story. What's Alec Burks going to put up? 6 of 15. Uh, RJ gets better, 7 of 17 with 17 points. Nice. Uh, Randall had a double-double. Almost a triple-double. Crazy rebounds. Uh, shot okay. A little bit under 50%. 40 minutes, 40 minutes for Randall and RJ. And then everyone else, 25. But Burks was in. So Burks was probably in for a while. Interesting. 44%, 33%, and 63%. What did they do? Tobias Harris? Yeah, interesting. Tobias Harris can go for 20 for Seth. Ben Simmons at 16. Dwight was on this team. 41%, 33%. Joel Embiid did not play this game. Peyton didn't play. Robinson, D. Rose also didn't play. D. Rose was sick at one point, I think. And he also uh, just didn't play. Let's look at the next game, overtime. It's something to do with Tobias Harris. Ha something happened. Uh, the third, even. The first, we laid an egg. We poo-pooed it. That's why. But we came back. We came back in the fourth. We came back in the second, too. We really, really almost, almost broke the streak. Almost broke the streak. Almost. 20 points. 21 points from Shake Milton and Tobias Harris. Furkan Kork, uh, Korkmaz had 12. Let's see what the... They did 46 and 40. We did 43 and 45. So we did 46 and 44, 43 and 45. Shot a little bit better from three. But Randall did not have a good game. Where's Alec Burks? Yes, another game. That's definitely a story. Can Alec Burks come up? I don't know if you guys can hear this once I edit this, but the dog is going crazy. So we lost this game, and this was home. Quick turnaround from the 16th to the 20th. Where were we? Uh... December 26, March 16, and March 21. Where were we? 0 and 2. 
And then we were 20, 20 and 21, and then 21 and 22. So we were there. We were on the cusp. And what wound up happening with us? We were basically home. So we were in Milwaukee, in Oklahoma, then came home, then went down. Then a four game home stretch where we went three and one. And then while we were away, four game away, um, we were one and four. Okay, so not bad. Flip flop. Let's see where the 76ers were. We were first in the East at that point, and we were fourth in the East, of course. 41 and 31. Uh, so they were 2 0. They actually would do pretty well. Actually, very well. Nice. 20 and 10 by the time they got to February. But they were 2 and 1, and then. Here, oh, they went on a win streak. Uh, six game win streak. And we were the last stop before they lost. They lost, and then they went on another four game win streak here. And they were home for these four games here from the 14th until the 20th. And they were three and one at home, which is good. They were away, which wasn't too far. And they were home. So they did not have a rough schedule. That's why they just trounced. But even then, even then, they had two overtime games out of three. And during that time, they had four overtime games. Knicks didn't really go into overtime. In March, we just went once. And that was the first game that we had overtime. Two, three, four, five, six games overtime. They had one, two, three, four, five, six as well. But chunkier ones since they were early. Now I want to look a little bit at coming up the schedule. October 26th, home, away, home, away. So October, November, February, and March. They'll see us. They'll they'll know us. Our presence is there. Let's take a look. October 26th, November 8th, February 27th, and March. Let's see where we are. Adjust my mic. We'll be home for two games. And then away for two games. October 26th, November 8th, home away, home away, home, home. But it's all against East opponents. It's all East opponents. Who's our first, who's our first West Coast team? New Orleans. And then Houston. Ooh, so interesting. If the Knicks could go, hmm, they can go two and three, three and three, four and three, five and three, five and four, six and four, six and five, six and six. Okay, they could be still be about 500, I would say, by the time, roughly when they get into Thanksgiving, 500, I would say. Uh, February 27th and March 2nd, but it'll be up and down a little bit, February 20th. No, February 27th. Four game home stretch. Let's see what happens. And we get a little break because the All-Star. So they see us before and after the All-Star break. Uh, and then March 2nd. So back one right, one game right after the other. And we get a little bit break. But then after them, we go see their... It'd be nice if we get a statement win. Although I think we're probably going to lose this one. And I'm worried about this West Coast trip that we have. But we get to be home a little bit before... The only bad part is... 
we I think we might lose these two games here uh, towards the end because we uh, we play Oklahoma, which who we could beat. Then we play Brooklyn. Don't know what's going on with Brooklyn. Then we get Miami, who could be a little bit tough. Uh, so there's a good chance that these games we can go 0-4. And, and let's see what happens during this West Coast trip. Maybe we can beat the Clippers. Now that we have uh, tape on the Suns. Let's see what happens against the Suns. Kings, we could probably beat. Dallas, we could probably beat. Memphis, we could probably beat. Brooklyn. Uh, Philly, let me see what they're going to do. They have a chance to go 3-1 and one before they see us. The first time around. And the, uh, they will be away. And have only played one game at home. And then do a four-game home stretch. So they probably want to try to get a win. Uh, it might have an easier schedule. I mean, might have an easier time trouncing another opponent with a day off. Whereas for us, yeah. Let's see, let's move down further. Uh, they'll be playing at Chicago. They've, they'll be playing Chicago twice in three days. And then they're home for us, Milwaukee and Toronto. Let's check February. That's when we play them again. They'll be at Milwaukee. Hmm. At New York. and the, At Milwaukee. At Minnesota. 25-27. Okay. I think they're going to beat us these two games. I think the best opportunity we have to beat them. Might be... Our second game against them. Take advantage of the fact that they had to play Dame on the first. That squad for the Bulls on the third. Uh, and then three days later, they have to play sh at Chicago again and then come back with one day off. So I think the November game we could win. Um... I think we could also potentially win the first game because I don't know what's going on with Ben and uh, I don't know what's going on with Ben and they might throw out Shake Milton at the point or Steph, uh, pardon me, Seth at the point. So just by guessing, I would say at least one. I think we do break the streak this season. Uh, let's see, just a little bit of stats, not too crazy, because I don't want to make this video that long. So Joel Embiid, hurt. He didn't play a lot of games, 51. At least we're somewhat durable. They do compensate, though. They, look, they do look like a team that compensates a lot, uh, because they somewhat evenly distribute out time, uh, time to their players, and... Uh, this guy, Matthias Thibel. Uh He's not bad. He's not bad. He can really perform. Uh, also, something to note. Their field goal percentage was also pretty good. Whereas for the Knicks. Our field goal percentage wasn't as good. Which is probably why they're going to beat us a bit more. Because our bigs had really good field goal percentage. But I'm hoping... Because compared to... You know, a lot of them are scoring... More of them are scoring in the 50s. And now that they have Andre Drummond, Tobias Harris... Um, Joel Embiid... And shooters... The only thing is they, they blow leads in the 4th. Because Doc Rivers is known for doing that. So it's going to be interesting to see how they, um, how they, how the Knicks sort of plan for them, because I just had to drink some water. 
because you can easily put uh, Seth at the point right here. Shake at the two. Tobias Harris at the three. Or you can put uh, Shake coming off the bench. And then you'll have uh, Danny Green as your shooting guard. They can kind of mix and match, and they have things. I don't know why Dwight Howard's here. Dwight Howard's not there. He's on the Lakers now. But they have other players that can mix and match. The Knicks did get a little bit better, though. Uh, so, I'm looking for more... I'm looking for more effort from them. And they didn't necessarily rebound the ball too much. Whereas the Knicks, let's take a look and see what they did last season. We had one person in double digits and another person at eight. So they did, they had two players and now with Andre Drummond there, they're going to probably get a bit more rebounds. For sure. They got Andre. He's a double-double usually, but I mean, the Knicks have found ways to stop him. Uh, we shoot a little bit better than them. Free throw wise. But with a team like this, you're going to have to. Well, I'm, I'm not an expert, right? But what I'd be looking for is well, they have bigs and they shoot efficiently and they have a team that has that's fairly well rounded and their schedule helps them. We have one game in which we could take advantage of beating them. Uh, First thing is what's going on with Ben Simmons. If they don't have Ben Simmons, then I think we have a better chance at uh, going against them. Uh, let's assume that Joel Embiid is unhealthy. If we can assume that Joel Embiid is unhealthy, then we may have an opportunity. But since we face them, we'll see them often. And they'll see hopefully many different versions of us. Uh, I think we can even ourselves out with them. If we can trap their shooters and make their bigs turn the ball over and make it so that it's just the Joel Embiid show, because sometimes he'll kind of like shoot those dumb threes. If you can push him out more, and I think that second unit might, if they can find a way to defensively stop them, limit them in their points, limit them in their uh, inside game. That's how we're going to try. That's going to be very important, limiting their outside game. Because they're, they're inside, uh, no, they're inside game. Because their inside guys can kick it out or someone can kick it out to them. And people can shoot, even though they may not shoot. Because Danny Green, who knows what's going to happen with Danny Green. But they'll shoot. These guys will shoot for sure. Uh, I'm going to say if I had to wager, it is 1-3. and three. And we do break the streak against uh, the Sixers' 15-game losing streak. But I think it's going to be a 16-game losing streak, 1, and then a 2-game losing streak again. If I had to guess. So there are Knicks versus the 76ers. And we'll go from there. We'll go from there. See what happens.